So what has it been like for you coming in this year more in a starting role or at least um, a potential starting role than in previous years? I mean, it feels great coming back. I mean, I think if you look at our roster, it's something to be excited about, something to be proud of. And I'm just really happy to be a part of it. And you know, I feel great coming back. I think I had a leadership role last year and I'll continue that role. And I'm just excited to be here and be part of this again. What are your personal goals for the season? Uh, my personal goals are for us to win, you know, as much as it, you know, you can look at goals against and I'd love to get that down. I'd love to win every game, you know, but ultimately we want to win. Um, the city deserves that. We think we deserve that. We're putting in the work to do that. And that's what I want. What have you, what have you guys been learning through this preseason tournament on what uh, is working and what maybe needs to be improved? Yeah, I think that we were pretty pleasantly surprised with how we kicked off that Seattle game. You know, I think it was nice to just get out there. We had played small sided, the girls have been in and out. And I think that, you know, we see that we have a great foundation, but we have a lot of work to do too. I mean, defensively, we need to shore things up. We haven't even tactically gotten to that point. You know, Mark has been very clear about, we have about 20 things we need to work on and we've addressed five. So we're gonna be really good at those five and then we have 15 more to go. So I don't know if we're really good at those five yet. So right now we're just working on understanding each other, working on getting our lines connected. I think that's gonna be really big in tomorrow's game. And yeah, just moving forward, we have a ton of work to do, but we also have a ton of potential. Mm -hmm. What, what do you think the expectation is going to be this year? Obviously, there's always a lot of pressure on the Thorns to do really well. Um, and the, the ultimate goal seems to always be to win the championship. But do you, are you guys putting those expectations on yourself at this point? Or are you trying to look at it less um, down the road? I think, I mean, if we had to write something down right now, I think there's not a person in that locker room that doesn't want to, want to win a championship at the end of this and doesn't think that we have the potential to. But... To approach that every day, I think it's more the tangible things. What can we do today to be winners? You know, what can we do today to get better? You know, you don't just say, I want to win a championship and then, you know, show up. So I think that our goals are to get better and better. You know, Seattle was seeing where we're at and now we're just going to grow every time we play. And sometimes it'll go up and down, but ultimately we want to be peaking come that championship game. And yeah, we all want that. We all expect that, but it's about the process really. Do you guys feel like you're better prepared this year to maybe deal with um, knowing that players are going to be coming in and out uh, versus last year? Yeah, that's always tough. You know, you always, you know, wonder how that's going to go. But I think that we have a really good locker room. I think we have really good players. And, you know, even though we don't have a ton of numbers in camp, the numbers we do are do have our quality. And I think that we believe in each other. And, you know, it's been nice having a small group in the beginning and know, getting to know that group over and over. So. Yeah, I think we feel good. I think we'll be prepared and, you know, we're going to be ready. And then this is the fourth year uh, of the league, the first time a women's team in the U.S. has made it to the fourth season. It, how big is that um, from your guys' perspective? I think it's huge. I mean, I think that kids can really start looking at this and think, that's what I want to do one day. You know, it's not just three years and out or, oh, another league failed. You know, we're not only just four years in, but we're four years and, you know, everything's gotten a little better, progressively better. You know, there's more teams, there's more interest. And, the salary cap's slowly growing and I think that you know the fans are growing and now I think Orlando City is going to be an exciting place and you know I just think it's really exciting that it's here and I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh, and you mentioned you know kids can look up to this how does that differ than when maybe you were in college or even high school trying to figure out if professional soccer was even a viable path? Yeah I grew up wanting to play in the WNBA you know there wasn't a stable soccer league you know the WNBA was associated with the NBA and that was stable and that was something tangible and something I could go out and think about every day you know the league was in and out the games were hard to find it you know it was a, a weird time growing up because you knew you wanted to play as long as you could but where were you going to do that so I think it's amazing I think these kids can say I want to be a thorn you know we have kids after games telling us we want to be a thorn we're in the thorns academy and you know that's incredible and I'm really excited for that next generation. And speaking of, the, you know, WNBA was associated with the NBA, I mean, seeing these other teams come into the league through MLS, uh, what does that mean and hopefully seeing their support? Yeah, I mean, look at this place. You know, we're associated with an MLS team and we get almost as many as other MLS teams get. Um, I think that Houston's done well for themselves and I think Orlando's going to have a great following. I think it's exciting and I think the more we can do that and have people who, because I think once you get the people out, they see it's valuable, they see it's exciting. So when it's associated with a men's team, there's a reason for them to be there. There's another cl club or another group of people for them to be loyal to. So I think it's about getting the people out. I think they'll want to keep coming back.